So we here at the arm embed area and you talk about thread. Yes, uh, thread is a new mesh networking stack that's based on uh, six low band and uh, it's developed for home IoT devices. And so it's based on what did you say? Six low band. What is that? Six low band is a uh, mesh network that's uh, IPv6 based and uh, it allows devices to be natively connected to their existing IPv6 networks. And uh, over here I'm running early versions of the, our thread stack and uh, you can see from the screen that uh, I can uh, send IPv6 packages to those nodes and they are sending replies back. Also I can show you next screen here that they have been registering this uh, embed device server and uh, they are published here one <coughs> control that I can switch that's the light control if I switch it on all the devices are showing that they the LED is now on. Now I will show that I will switch it off and now it turns off on all the devices. This is an uh, example of uh, IPv6 based traffic, the Coke traffic running here on top of the IPv6. You can see over here. And that's the example how you send uh, IPv6 based traffic to mess network. So Thread is uh, about Internet of Things, it's about security, what is it? Yeah, Thread is a uh, Internet of Things protocol that's developed for home, home automation or home areas in mind. They have goals like uh, to be always secure, <laughs> to be IPv6 based, to be reliable and uh, running on top of standard 15.4 radios. So what do you do? What do I do? Yeah, yeah. I, I lead the team that's developing the thread stack and the six low band stack and uh, we are based in all part of the embed team. That's like in Finland, right? Yeah, that's in Finland. <laughs> that's where the, the Santa Claus is living. Yeah, it's live close by. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so uh, is it uh, a collaboration between many different companies? The thread is kind of like a consortium or something, no? Yeah, there's a number of companies currently. You can check the threadgroup.org website to see who's currently part of that. We are actively part of the thread development and actually there's currently one of the thread interrupts ongoing and now developers are there. So for the embed OS, for the Internet of Things, it's really important to be secure. Is, yeah, it, is it possible? It's, it is possible. One of the things that Dread will finally define is the way that uh, how do you build the secure network to your home. And uh, that's uh, one of the <coughs> things in IoT that you need to be able to build the secure network. Otherwise, there's no point of building the IoT. So IoT is going to be 20 billion devices per year or something like that. It's going to be huge. It's and going to be huge, yeah. And uh, all of it is going to be Thread? Not all. Thread, thread is uh, mainly for home areas. But the, there will be something uh, six low band based on a wider areas that they might run on different radios. <laughs> thread will run on the 15.4 radios, usually on 2.4 gigahertz. But if you think for example uh, areas that should cover the whole cities they might be that you want the six low band on top of sub gigahertz radius but that's one of the options that we will also offer the embed OS will support the six low band it will support the thread so here we uh, we have some arm embed OS development uh, the bluetooth stuff but um, uh, thread is on the on the radio. It's no, not. What is thread, it? There's an OS and there's a thread, right? Yeah, thread is uh, one of the networking options that we offer as a part module in the uh, embed OS. It runs on the 15 radios, 
So it runs on the radio part? Um, actually, all the network stuff runs inside the Embed OS. Alright. So the radio is just a transceiver and they will be driver for the radio and the then the Embed OS uh, platform will contain this uh, thread network instance. So how is it to develop this and uh, what is the status? Are you finished or no, you have no. much more to do? No, there's a lot of things to do. Currently the thread specification, the development is ongoing. The specification are not public yet, not final yet. So there are a lot of things that they still need to define to get the final specs out and uh, I guess that will be a little bit before the summer when they finally re release the specification and after that it will be part of our beta release on the Embed OS. And you have a team of uh, guys working on this? Yeah. And, uh, and then after summer, what does that mean? Does that mean products come out or is it a little bit later? Uh, <laughs> after summer there will be some early beta releases of Embed OS that the early adopters can start to build in their own thread based applications, try to try it. Some of the companies will uh, start to... Yeah. So, so what, uh, sorry, uh, how does it work to make a secure Internet of Things? Um, how does it work? It, it depends on the protocols, but there has to be a way how you share your net, network security keys securely. And uh, Thread is one of Thread is going to specify one of the ways that the, how you enter unknown devices to your network. I think it's called commissioning that they will allow one of the new de devices to enter the network and once it's allowed by the user it's going to get the final network security key. So it's like when you touch the router and you add a Wi-Fi access to a specific uh, device if your Wi-Fi is configured like that. Yeah, similar but, could be done on a thread. And it's not possible to spoof it or to... Uh, nobody's going to come from outside and turn on your light switch. Yeah. For that's, sure. It, uh, yeah. That's, that, would be, uh, that would be a problem. But yeah. that's, that's, that's not going to happen. No. That's, that's one of the things that why, why thread specification is going to... They going to claim that thread should be always secure. There should be only one correct way of doing the security and it should cover that nobody from outside could enter the network without you knowing that. And strong encryption everywhere. Yeah. And reliable encryption. Reliable encryption everywhere. The link layer security is always enabled. And before Thread, the industry has been doing Internet of Things many different ways that are not secure, or what? Not every, not everyone has been doing unsecure. It's a, it's a options, but the, the confusing is that there is a no standard way of building up the network in a secure way. Some of the, some of the developers have done it so that they will be, let's say security key flashed inside the device that, that they will all share the same key like a Wi-Fi network it shares shares the same key but some of the some of the networks work, work so that the device is going to authenticate itself before it's going to get the final link layer security key but there are a number of options and uh, no standards yet, so that's what the threat's going to cover. Cool, so looking forward to a lot of uh, secure uh, internet things. Right, thanks.